begin. Do you prefer is Kyrie or Kyrie? Kyrie. Kyrie. Kyrie, please. And is it Irving or Irving? Irving. Irving. Okay, yeah. good. Very good. Well, thanks for coming. It's great to have you here. Thanks for having me. You know, me. Charles Barkley was here last night, and he was talking about the All-Star Game. This is your fifth All-Star Game, yeah. which is great. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. You... But Charles said that the guys don't play hard during the game, and if they do play hard, they're idiots. Which camp do you <laughs> fall into on that? Uh, well, I have a you know, deep-rooted competitive spirit, so when I'm going out there, specific matchups you want to go at, you know, you want to be kind of prepared as best you can, so it's best to get your sleep the night before. Really? Um, so doing, you're taking yeah. it somewhat seriously? Somewhat, somewhat. Yeah. Having some fun at the same time, but, you know, you want to have that I want to destroy you attitude as well. You don't want to get embarrassed out there. They're doing it very differently this year. Yep. In the past, it's been the East versus the West, yep. but now they pick two captains, so LeBron and Steph Curry are the captains, and LeBron picked you to be on his team, <laughs> and Steph Curry has his team, and that's, first of all, were you happy slash surprised that LeBron picked you? I feel like it was a great choice. It was a great choice. <laughs> Obviously, it was a great choice. And do you know what number you were picked? Because I, I would imagine in your whole life you've never been picked anything lower than number one in any school sport or anything <laughs> like that. Do you know? Because I know Kevin Durant thinks he was picked number one yeah. by LeBron, although I don't know that he knows that. I think he may just be saying it. And probably in my mind, I want to say I got picked number one. You got picked number one, yeah. In actually, probably not. <laughs> it's cool. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm I fine see. With okay, that, you yeah. didn't ask LeBron where you. Do you no. talk to him at all? Oh, uh, we've talked. You yeah. talk. Do you yeah. see yourself? Is there any chance that one day you guys will be on the same team, not just in the All Star game? I mean, like for real. Uh, I mean, in, in professional sports, anything can happen. So. Um, Okay. You, know, you never know. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's interesting. It's an interesting way to answer. Are you are you enjoying being in Boston? Yeah. It's you like a, it there? Yes. Yeah, new for me. Very, Is it very new? What's new about it? Uh, well, my role just um, you know getting an understanding of where I want to be going forward within our team. My leadership role. I mean, it's just moving to a new city. I had to uproot myself six years being in Cleveland and going to Boston, into the summer while shooting a movie, Uncle Drew. So it was it's a lot of newness going on. Yeah. And, right. Um, yeah. You know? Is that something that you always wanted to do, make a movie? Because I know this character, Uncle Drew, started in a series of Pepsi commercials. Yes. And then, how did it become a movie from that? Because I don't think this has happened since. Do you remember Ernest Goes to Camp? No. <laughs> well, first of all, I recommend it. <laughs> Secondly, Ernest was, he did car commercials here in the Southland. Mm -hmm. And then somebody said, hey, you'd be great in a movie. And they were right. <laughs> so. How did this happen? Uh, well, it started in uh, my hometown, New Jersey, Bloomfield, New Jersey. Uh, yep, shout out to everybody from Jersey. And uh, man, it was it was a family-oriented Pepsi spot. Started with Pepsi Max, and then we got about four chapters. And then uh, Lionsgate approached me, Jay Longino, the writer, Charles Stone, the director. Then it got going in two-year process, and uh, I guess you can say I have actor on my. Uh... Yeah, you sure do. And Shaq is one of your co-stars in this movie. Is it intimidating to act alongside one of the greats? I mean, he was in Kazam. <laughs> this is like, is that something that you? I took I, I took nervous? some notes from him. I took some <laughs> notes from him for acting. We have though. a clip. This is you and Lil Rel in, in yeah. the movie Uncle Drew, which comes out June 29th. To a malaise of the place with style and grace, allow me to... Okay, 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 okay. New rule, young blood. None of this rabbity hippity hop nonsense, you understand? What you mean, rabbity hippity hop? That's not what it's called, it's called hip hop. My call, my version. Talking about style, what, what is that? Well, first of all, I can tell you don't have style because you always got on jogging suits. Yeah, uh, talking from the hustle with the fake chains. These are real. I got these for my birthday. So yeah, right. Your business. Yeah, right. Those three cost, checks. Those cost fifty cent a piece. Three checks. My teeth cost more. <laughs> Is that a custom van? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I don't know. You really got to wear some makeup when you do these movies because you look very old in that one. In that. <laughs> I um, it. So that was a fun thing to do, out of, except was, for the makeup, which was it probably was, it terrible. It was awesome. It was awesome. Uh, the commitment and sacrifice to be an actor. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew. I, aside from, you know, playing basketball, that was something I uh, went into just, just so, it was just so amazing to experience. Just behind the camera, in front of the camera, 
the long hours. My final shooting day, I didn't stop shooting until about 12 p.m. the next day. So it was we started at 4 p.m. and ended 12 p.m. the next day. So you know, Kobe now is nominated for an Oscar for uh, a short movie he made. Did you know that? Your basketball. Yeah, yeah, right, right. So I'm excited for him, man. Yeah, I, yeah, and he's very excited about it too. Yeah, you are. I, I read this about you, and I think it's very interesting. A lot of the guys were talking about what music they listened to in high school, and, like, one of the guys said Eminem, and one guy said, like, Outkast, and one of the guys said, I don't know, whatever, Jay-Z or something, yeah. and you said you listen to musicals. <laughs> like, what what musicals do you listen to? Uh, well, my favorite is Rent. Rent so. is your favorite. Yeah. So is this something that... Like you'll try to play in the locker room and try to get the guys going? I've, I've tried. Uh -huh. I've tried, but uh, <laughs> I get the same usual stares. Just what they do you, what they're are you They're not into it? No, they're not 8, into 8, it. 8,000, 2,500, 600 minutes, or whatever. Yeah. How oh, sorry. I, I don't know. Listen. <laughs> I'm not a Scots guy. Yeah. <laughs> you also have a tattoo, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Of the Friends television show logo on your do. body, yeah, where is the the tattoo? It's on my left uh, <laughs> forearm, right here. <laughs> Why? Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. Why do you have? This? Uh, I mean, I mean, one who isn't a Friends fan, and then. <laughs> 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 and then, you really are a friends fan. <laughs> and then, uh, secondly, uh, one of my best friends, or two of my best friends, we have uh, tattoos together. Oh, so. your best friends named like Joey and uh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> are these no. real friends or imaginary? <laughs> no, no. I hope they're not imaginary. By the way, I know this is you asked about this a million times, but I'm particularly interested in it. You oh, went yeah. on a podcast and you said the Earth. You believe the Earth was flat. <laughs> and um, and uh, do you actually are you you want to reel that in, or oh, you still man. believe the Earth is flat? I, Hey, you know what? I've, you've always tried to uh, come back, take the statement back, but yeah. Uh, but you know, on that podcast, flat. I was just really like, man, what's going on within our world? And just a whole bunch of truth and conspiracy. I was just like, whoa, this is too much for me. And then I come out and say that, and then, whoo, yeah. the reaction it got. Yeah, because it got, people but... think maybe your brain collapsed or no, something like it that. It didn't. It didn't. No, I'm, I'm, I'm actually intellectually. Scared. Well, I did give yeah. you, because you seem like a pretty bright guy, so I gave you this, and maybe like you can at work, you can look at this. This is a gift for you. It's one of a kind there. And wow. you can just ponder the potential realities of the, <laughs> the world and its possible roundness. Yeah, it's spinning. <laughs> it's spinning. It's just spinning. Try to work that into the game on Sunday. It's great to see you. Kyrie Irving, everybody. NBA 2K18 is out now. And Uncle Drew, June 29th. I am Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button. So please click now. I'm hungry.